Okay, I cut some shims and I will show you how we can adjust this there. Now I only have one screw at the top here. So we can just slide the shim in between here and if you need to, you can always lift the stair stringer up and that will give you a gap behind the stringer where you can place your where you can place your wedge and adjust it a little more. So I'm just going to push it in by lifting the stringer up. And then, believe it or not, all we got to do is push down on this. And that's going to give us a gap behind there. Now we can check to see if this is an acceptable. And it is. That looks good. Give you an idea. Now, the stair stringer on the bottom, remember, needed to be adjusted. So, let me just hold the camera for a second. And our stair wedge in the back fell out. That was that noise. Now, we can see that this wedge here has adjusted the stairs so now we've got a straight a really straight set of stair stringers and you can see a little gap there and there's a gap here but of course our wedge fell out just wanted to give you the general idea and again you can always put wedges I recommend putting them on each side something like that and if you want to put a couple more if you want to glue this or if you got to put too many wedges in make sure you put a framing anchor in there in the corner to uh, give you some extra support I mean if you have too big of a gap here you're not really getting a good you're not getting support in here um, for the stair stringer so try and fill it up with something same thing with the bottom and you could always fill it up with construction adhesive too and I don't mean fill it up make sure you got the wedges under there and then apply the construction adhesive sometimes the construction adhesive underneath the wedges will keep them in place you'd be surprised at how much of this stuff shrinks up gets loose and now you've just got a you've got a gap between this and this so tips for the Tips for stair building.